Hello everyone, what's going on? How are you today? I'm Anna from Lovely Lady Cakes and I'm excited. I'm on the Sweeten channel. You're watching Sweeten. That's right, Sweeten. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're here live because I'm going to bake this beautiful little cutie patootie bunny rabbit cake. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. So this cake is just a plain old vanilla cake with vanilla buttercream and I'm talking a lot of coconut. So if you're a coconut fan, this is like the coolest cake ever. Um, have you ever seen one of these cakes before? Um, birthday cake, I think for a little kiddo would be so cute. Um, or Easter. I know we have a whole month till Easter. But I think it would be fun for your Easter table. What do you guys think? He's so cute. And I was kind of inspired because I saw a lot of lamb cakes. Um, and especially when I was a kid, my mom would make a lamb cake for me. Um, my husband got a lamb cake every birthday. Was that every birthday? You got? No, just my first birthday. Just first birthday he got lamb cake. It was a cake. tradition in our family. So I think, again, this could be like a fun tradition. If you have a little one-year-old, this could be their very first birthday cake. It is so easy to make. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm here in Texas today. It is a beautiful day outside. Where are you watching from? Tell me in the comments below. Where are you watching from? Diana says, hello from Austria. Hello, Diana. Samantha says, that's cute. Naya Thanks. says, love it. Thanks, guys. And Naomi says, love it as well. Thanks, y'all. Hey, Naomi. Naomi. Awesome. Yeah, if you're just tuning in, I'm going to show you how to make a bunny cake. We're going cakes today. I'm Lovely Lady Cakes, and I'm all about the cakes today. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to show you how to make buttercream. Now, a lot of you, I'm sure, are too busy to make buttercream, and that's okay, because I'm a mom and I get busy too. Um, but I wanted to show you a really simple ingredient for buttercream. We're talking, it's so easy. We've got butter, um, a little bit of powdered sugar, vanilla, and half and half, guys. And if you ever have the chance to make your own buttercream, I recommend it. It tastes so good. A lot better than the canned frosting. But again, I will not judge you if you use canned frosting. It's totally fine. All right, so I've got some butter here and I've got my paddle attachment. You guys could use um, a handheld mixer. That would work just fine. So, unsalted butter. I have the recipe uh, in the link below here. But uh, what do we got here? Let's see. A stick and a half of unsalted butter. This is just for a little small recipe. Do, do, do. Rosh says, this is looking, just looking at the ingredients are making me hungry right now. Yes, I love it. Well, the trick to making really good buttercream is you want your butter room temperature. Have you ever heard of that before? Only because it's just going to go quicker. And if you had uh, cold butter, again, that's fine, but look how fast that creams out really nicely. The cold butter just takes a little bit longer. And then making buttercream, guys, my favorite tool is a spoonula. Have you ever seen that? It's like a spoon and a spatula, and I like to always, when you're baking um, with buttercream or baking, you know, cookies and stuff, you're always needing to scrape down the sides of the bowl, and a spoonula is my favorite for that. So next, easy buttercream, vanilla buttercream. Uh, this is about three cups of powdered sugar, and you can do it in three parts so you don't make a giant mess or watch and cross our fingers that this doesn't go everywhere. <laughs> Zahara and Lena say hi. So. Sorry, what? They say hi. Hey, Zahara guys. and Lena. Hara and Lena? Zahara. Zahara, awesome. I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I apologize. Zahara, hey, hey guys. We're making a lamb cake today. Oh, it smells so good. Powdered sugar. So I've just got butter, unsalted butter, powdered sugar. We're just blending it up really nicely, making our own fresh buttercream today. Because the buttercream is going to go on little bunny here. Little bunny. Isn't he cute? We're actually doing arts and crafts too. These are not edible ears, which I'm one of those people that kind of hate when you have a dessert in front of you and you can't eat everything. <laughs> can you but eat the grass? We can actually, yes. You what? Can, the grass is edible. It's this amazing uh, edible grass. I'll show you the bag. Hold on. I got it at Michael's. So he, he's actually sitting on this edible grass, and I thought it was just so neat. My daughter was eating it yesterday. This is the flavor of green apple. <laughs> there was pink and there's yellow, so I think that's kind of a fun touch. But yes, arts and crafts today, we're going to be making these ears. I'm going to show you all how to do that. But first, got to finish this buttercream. Buttercream, that's right. Okay, it's coming together. 
And this is like the basic buttercream. If you guys are wanting to spoof, spoof it up a little bit, you could add um, some like strawberry coolies in here or um, lemon curd or chocolate. Just melt some chocolate and pour it on in here. But again, we gotta scrape down the sides of the bowl. Alrighty. Gonna start coming together here in a minute. Whee! You guys ever make fresh buttercream? And if you do, what's your favorite buttercream? Uh, cream cheese frosting too is really good. I love that one. Um, lemon curd is my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna pour a little bit of the vanilla, and I've got half and half to bring this guy together. So yes, we're just making fresh buttercream that's gonna go on our little bunny cake here. How cute is that? Just pour it in. Any favorite buttercreams? Lemon curd, Louise yeah, says. Lemon curd, my fave. And uh, it's a little hard to make, temperamental, but you know, you can always find it in the jelly section if you want to cheat. <laughs> just pour the uh, lemon curd right on in here. Yeah. Fresh butter. Cheryl says add one teaspoon of almond extract in yes. addition to the vanilla, makes a great flavor. Yes, that is so true. Let's taste that. Mm. I love almond extract for sure. So this is about two to four tablespoons of half and half. And I kind of just eyeball it. I like to see, some days I like it a little bit thicker, some days I like it a little bit runnier. But yeah, okay. So we have our buttercream. Yum. And let's take it off here. So Judith good. says, hello from Frankfurt, Germany. Hello, my goodness, how awesome. What was her name? Judith. Judith. Do you bake a lot, Judith? I'm always baking. Um, my channel, Lovely Lady Cakes, my daughter and I, we cook a lot, so you gotta go check it out. We have a series called Baking with Toddlers on Amazon, so we're always baking in the kitchen. But, um, yes, next. So, to start off, we're gonna need a cardboard. If you don't have a cardboard, you can use a plate, whatever you have at the house. Um, and then, what are we doing next? Yes, I've got a serrated knife. Again, I love this tool. Two tools I love, serrated knife and spoonula. What's your favorite tool? Tish asked if we made it. She's just tuned in, so she's wondering if this was a box cake, which is yes. This because is a box cake, We yes. are making, We're making turning this it into cute a bunny. bunny. And I totally used a box cake. It makes one eight inch round, uh, your box cake. Bake it off, cool it off, and uh, sometimes it has a little hump. Just go ahead and take your serrated knife, and you just want to cut off the hump. You want it nice and flat on top. So Tiffany is, asks, I'm um, sorry to interrupt you, babe. Yes. What about cinnamon buttercream? Would that work too? Yes, add some cinnamon in there. Delicious. What a great idea. Okay, so yeah, just take that off. And then what we're going to do is cut our little cake right in half. Bling. And let's see. Okay, and then one side, the top, I'm going to add a little buttercream. Weird, right? It's like usually you do the inside of a cake. Well, I'm going to show you how to do this. So, a little buttercream, because we're actually going to put this one on top of it, so it sits up right. Yummy. And yeah, you could totally do cinnamon buttercream. I love that idea. Um, lemon buttercream. I'm just obsessed with lemon. Lewis says, uh, favorite tool is a fork. Yes, why? Because I love to eat. <laughs> yes, nice. Hey, that's everybody's favorite. Okay, I've got this on some parchment paper, so I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna ask, I've made buttercream before, but it tends to always melt or soften up. What am I doing wrong? Um, are you using butter? Hopefully you're using like really good butter. And if it's softening up, you probably just need less milk or half and half or whatever liquid you're using. But um, yeah. Uh, let's see, you could try to keep it in the refrigerator and let it thicken up that way too. Okay, so I've got my half, I had it on some uh, parchment paper, so one stick. I've got my little cardboard, and you want it to actually sit on this side. 
So I'm going to put a little buttercream on the side so he'll stay on there and not move around if you're going to take him to a party or something. He's going to stay on this cardboard like so. Ta-da! Okay, and one thing about cakes is you're going to have flaws in cakes. So as you can tell, I've got a lip here. I filled it up too high. And now I'm just going to cut it off. Eee, if I can get that. Okay. So I'm just going to cut the top here to be flush, right? Cakes are all about just molding them. And that's what we're doing with our bunny today. Yeah, and you're going to be covering it up anyway. So. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Dirty hands. <clears throat> Someone asked what is the recipe for this cake. It's just a box cake. Simple. Yes. You can make your own homemade you vanilla can, cake if you've got one in the family. But. You can go to myloveslyladycakes.com and I have a really, really good vanilla cake recipe if you're looking for something uh, just real fun and different tasting. Um, but yeah, feel free to go and make your own favorite cake that you love. It could be even a chocolate cake because we're going to cover it with white buttercream. So yeah, ta-da, look at that. Now, as you can tell, our bunny has... Like this little indention for his head and his neck and his back. Super easy. I'm pretty much just going to make like a triangle. I'm going to go down with my serrated knife and stop right where I think his ears might pop out. And I'm saying that's kind of like a triangle right there. So that should just slide on out of there. And he's got his little head right here, his little ears. And then at the top, if it looks too funky, just kind of, I mean, just gradually giving him a little light hump. Yeah. And of course, we're getting messy, right? Ooh. Okay, let's cover him. Or wait, let's actually... So now I noticed uh, I have this cardboard. To be professional, if you like to be professional, um... You can cut off the cardboard. So I use my serrated knife. This might be hard to see back here if you want to come. But I just use my serrated knife and I cut off the cardboard as close as I can to the cake. So that looks real nice and clean, right? And he has somewhere to sit. We've been asked to keep the leftovers. They can't yes. take their eyes off this live feed. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, I'm telling you, this cake is so easy to make. And your friends would love to do this after school or whatnot. You can make, um, yeah, birthday parties, your very first birthday party cake. So, yeah, look how easy that is. So then, when you go to actually lay the cake on something, look how pretty that's going to look. But until then, I have my Lazy Susan, another great tool. So yeah, I'm just going to use a whole bunch of buttercream, slap it on there, and cover this guy, this little baby, baby, baby bunny. And another great thing about this cake is I'm loading it up with a ton of, check it out, coconut, fresh coconut. And, uh... So if you have little specks coming through, or the cake comes out onto your buttercream, you know what? It doesn't matter because we're going to hide it. I love those kind of cakes where they don't have to be perfect. So yeah, just covering this guy all up with our buttercream. And as you can tell, there's a big gap here. Just fill it in with a bunch of buttercream. And you're just going to just kind of go right on in there. And then, I need a little more on top there. Ah. Hold on. Buttercream. I'm going to hold it just so I know that I'm not going to break, break it. Them. So, yeah. It's very... Do -do. You know, have some music on when you're decorating. Or in our case, people Have a live feed. Yeah. Where are you guys watching from? It's so pretty today in Texas. Lily's watching from Charlton, South Carolina. Hello. Asked what flavor the cake is, which is just a basic, basic vanilla. Basic vanilla. But you can make it however... Yeah. I figured a little bunny, they're cute and white, so let's make it a vanilla cake, you know? 
And that happens to be my favorite cake. What's your favorite cake to eat? Because that's what you should use. That's what you should do. We do. People tune in from UK, Houston. Houston! Nikki's watching from New Zealand. What? Awesome. Pam's watching from Valleyhead, Alabama. Cool. Crystal's from Canada. Hello, Crystal. We got Texas is representing. That's where we're <laughs> streaming wow. from. That's awesome. Yep, uh, my husband and I, we run a channel called Lovely Lady Cakes on YouTube, and we are always creating desserts, not necessarily just cakes, since my name is called Lovely Lady Cakes, but I started in 2011, guys. I just noticed on Facebook that I posted something February, this day, 2011, so seriously, it's been eight years? How many years? <laughs> Seven? Can you do the math for me? That's crazy. Renee says strawberry or lemon cake would be good for Easter. Yes. That's a great idea. Groovy. Okay, so look, he's pretty much all there. Sorry. Yeah. Do, do, do. So yeah, it kind of looks messy because we're going to add a bunch of coconut, right? So let's put, oh, my favorite thing. Okay, let me wash my hands. Sorry. Nikki says, bunny cake made from a carrot cake. <laughs> I like it. That is good right there. Okay. I should have done a carrot cake. That's a great idea. Okay, so you have your cute little board you want to lay your bunny on. If you guys didn't see this earlier, this is edible grass. It's like apple, green apple flavor edible grass. And I thought it was too cute. I got it at Michael's. Did I get it at Michael's? Yeah. Got it at Michael's, I'm sure Walmart, I'm sure you could get it on Amazon. It's just the cutest little decoration. Does it taste good? Well, let's try it. Did it... Mm. <laughs> mm, it dissolves in your mouth, kind of like cotton candy. Mm. So it's a it's a garnish that you could eat, but it really is. You wouldn't want to snack on it. No, no, like. I think it was it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> It tastes like cotton candy kind of dissolves in your mouth, but, ooh, the green apple's hitting my mouth. All right, so see how cute that is? You can just lift your cake, put it down like so. Probably could have used more grass, but that, you be the judge. Wah! How darling. Now, I've got a huge bowl of fresh coconut. You have to be a coconut fan if you like this cake. So, actually, what I like to do, I should have done this before I laid him down is I like to hold him and just use my hands to get the sides so you know it's gonna get like the very bottom done really well just press it against the side like that Tracy goes oh oh and a smiley face so sweet little bunny <laughs> Julie says we call it eating paper in German <laughs> <laughs> nice So yeah, just loading them up. This is just fine. I, I recommend maybe next time using a like a bigger bowl so the coconut will get on your table. One says, you know. looks easy, and it is. This it is, is really an easy, totally, something you can do with the kids. Totally you know? fun and easy. Or if you need a first birthday cake. Totally. For your kiddos. Ding, ding. Put that on there a little bit better. So darling. Okay. So yes, we are almost there. Our little bunny is coming together, right? So he looks a little awkward right now because we need to give him some ears, right? So actually, I just went on to um, Google and I Googled bunny template ears. So came out with some ears. You can print it up and let's get crafty. This is craft time. So I've got... Emma says needs blueberry eyes. And we're going to get blueberry some... Blueberry eyes! I like that. That is cute. Okay, so I've got a light whiskers pink. whiskers, too. i got a light pink for inside of the ears and beige for the outside of the ears. And I think you get the gist. So, you've got some scissors. You're going to cut the little bunny ear as a template. And you could totally freehand this. I'm just really bad sometimes, and I need that extra guidance. Kyle says Google never fails. Google never fails, does it? So there's one ear. 
Everyone's talking about the eyes and nose. Yes, we're going to give this them This one is sleeping, I guess, with just a little pink nose. We're going to give them some eyes, guys. So, yes, a great idea I just heard was blueberries with the acute eye. Um, yeah, he, mine that is right there, he's going for a more modern look. He's just, like, got a nose, you know? But, um, yeah. Okay, so next we're cutting out these ears with the beige paper. And if you want, you can have a pencil to trace it a little bit easier. If you don't Tisha's want to... large marshmallow for the tail. It's a great idea. Cute, guys. Keep giving me those. I love it. This is, this is what you call good collaboration. Good collaboration. See, I needed you yesterday. <laughs> so I'm on Snapchat. Next time maybe you saw me making this on Snapchat, you could have given me those ideas. Follow me on Le I'm Lovely Lady Cakes. Snapchat and Facebook and Instagram. Someone mentioned edible white chocolate for ears. Oh, that's a very sweet idea. I like that. White chocolate. And then they're not paper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, and so then I'm just going to cut out the center. And again, I could freehand this, but I like the template. It helps me. If you're tuning in, we're making a bunny cake. And I'm actually doing an arts and crafts at the moment for ears. Ears. This little cute bunny. Where are you going to go? So, you, uh, Karen says, why not coat the marshmallow in something so you can roll it in coconut for the tail so it's fluffy. That's a sweet idea. I like yeah. that. Perfect. Get those big, the bigger size. Fluffy. Yeah, big old marshmallows, right? You could even make your own art marshmallows. Oh, I should do that one. Whee! Okay, so then if you can tell, I've got my pink now. Let's see. Cut out the inside of the pink ear. You didn't know you were going to do arts and crafts today, did you? Yes. Or get a bunny cake so soon before <laughs> Easter. So sweet. All right. So I'm on my last ear. I would like to try what the other flavors of that weird grass, like banana grass or something. I don't know. Okay. Do, do, do. We've got our pink ears and a fun little glue stick. And the only reason I have this glue stick and construction paper is because I have a toddler. <laughs> and again, you I love everyone's idea about using other, you know, yes. fun edible treats, edibles ideas. for ears and, and Yeah, edible. I like that. Um And we this is just great. We want to inspire you guys to, to do get something in there. cute and fun. Yeah, okay, look at that. So sweet. So, doo -doo -doo, uh, Bianca has a great idea. If you're making the cake from carrot cake, you can use the ingredients from the cake, like the pineapple slices for the eyes and a raisin for the nose. That's so cute. I like that. Yeah. You guys are awesome. So, yeah, I'm just going to kind of give me a little hole for where his ears are going to go. Place the ears in. Oh, my goodness. Ta da Okay, and you guys had so many great suggestions about eyes and ears and nose. But let's see, I just have, whoops, that was the lid. I have Snoopy candy that kind of looks gummy. a gummy of some sort. Like you guys said, raisins are a really great idea. But my daughter had a lot of Snoopy candy left over from Valentine's Day. So here is his new home, the nose of the bunny. And it looks like a little yeah. pink Yeah, and then my husband got some almond um, covered chocolates, M&Ms. You can make those as eyes if you wanted. I like the yellow ones. Look how darling. Is that cute, the yellow? Mm -hmm. Look Maybe at a little, you. Yeah. Cute little bunny. And then scary like, looking, but... Is he scary? <laughs> See, that's why I kind of left him blind over here. He's sleeping <laughs> He's over sleeping. here. He's sleeping. But again, like, if you want to do decoration, you could put some fun little, you know, almond candies around there for your centerpiece at the birthday party. I'm so excited. Looks good. Yay! I hope you guys had fun watching how to make the bunny cake. I'll be back next Thursday, 2 p.m. Central Time. And thanks so much for watching. Follow me, Lovely Lady Cakes, and I'll see ya. Bye-bye!